hello and welcome to the channel in this video you will see how to design the simple model in few minutes using FreeCAD so now let's go to FreeCAD and in the start page create a new document click on this plus icon and switch to part design or bench now create a body and a new sketch in axi plane and here zoom out okay and now select polyline tool and in this first sketch here we'll draw a section of this figure here so what to do now now just draw this sketch okay now we have this sketch here now select equal constraint and make these two lines equal okay and these two lines here equal and this line here and this line equal okay and now we can set the dimension of the sketch so first here we'll start by the horizontal dimensions of the sketch so select horizontal distance tool now and for this line here as you can see we have 25 so click in this line and set 25 okay and for this line here okay we don't have the dimensions but here we have the estimation 7 between this line here to this line so what we'll do here we'll select this point and next to this point here and let's set 7 okay and now for this line here we'll set a length of 25 as you can see here okay and next here we'll set the dimension of this line here the dimension of this line will be 150 so click in this line and set 150 okay and now we have to center the sketch in this origin point so how we can do that we can select symmetric constraint tool and now select these two endpoints of this line and this vertical line okay and now let's add vertical dimensions of the sketch so now select vertical distance tool click on this line and the length of this line here will set the half of 20. so you'll set 10 okay and for this line here you'll see this dimension so what you'll do here you will select this origin point and next to this line here and we'll set the half of the estimation we'll set 15 okay and for this point here to this origin point we'll set a length of 25 the half of 50 okay and now as you can see we have this sketch full constrained so now we can leave this sketch no problem just click in this icon and press home now and select revolution tool change the axis here to x axis and now as you can see we have this part here so click ok okay and next here let's create this chamfer here and this chamfer so what you do here free select this face here and go to the chamfer tool and the size of this chamfer as you can see is two millimeters so change here to two and then click ok and now let's go to this edge here and create a chamfer here the size of this chamfer is one so the size here will be one and now click ok and next let's create this fillet here with a range of four so first here select this edge so select this circular edge and go to the fillet tool the size of the fillet here is 4 millimeters so first here change to 4 and then click on this select button and now select this edge and now click ok and as you can see now we have this fillet now and next here let's create this let's create this pocket here this hole with a diameter of 4 and a length of 5 
so first here what we'll do we'll select this face here and now select devil 2 and change the diameter of this hole to 4 and the depth to 5 and now click ok and next here to create the hole in this face here what we do we go to model and then select hole and go to the mirror tool and here we need to change the plane to yz plane okay and now as you can see we have these two holes in this face so click ok now okay and next here what we can do we can create this pocket here so what you need to do here is to create a new sketch in this face so now select this face and create a new sketch okay now we have this and next here go to sketch geometers and select external jump tool and extract this edge here and now again go to sketch geometers click in this arrow now and select center the rectangle and draw this first rectangle in this way and now this rectangle in this way and next here select equal constraint and make these two lines equal okay and the next thing to do here is to make this cycle and this line here tangent so first select tangent constraint and now this line and this cycle okay as you can see this rectangle is now constrained so now leave this sketch and select pocket tool and here we'll have to change the length of this pocket to 20 so change this dimension here to 20 and now click ok and now as you can see we have this pocket and next here what we can do we can create these these parts here and the cylinder so what you need to do first is to select this face here and create a new sketch and now switch to, to the section view and select external jump tool extract this edge here and select arc tool and next here we'll draw we'll draw this sketch we'll draw this sketch here so what you need to do here is to select the arc tool and now click in this origin point click in this cycle and draw this arc and click again this origin point and draw this arc and now draw arc in these two points and this arc in these two points okay and next here what we'll do we'll select horizontal distance tool and we'll set this distance here for millimeters for these two points we'll set four and for these two points here we'll set a length of eight distance of eight okay and now we have this and next here we'll select smart constraint select these two center points and then these first car line okay and now we have three degrees of freedom here so what we'll do next here next here we can set the ridge of this arc here and the distance between these okay we can set the ridge of this arc and this arc here so select again this select this constraint diameter and for these okay for this arc here we'll set the ridge of we'll set the half of 60 so click in this arc and set the half of 60 okay and for this arc here we'll set 25 okay and now we have one degree of freedom so what we can do select smart call constraint tool and then these two points and these first call okay problems here select horizontal constraint and now these two points okay and now we have the sketch full constrained so now click in this icon to leave the sketch and now click in this pad tool check this option reverse it and the length of this 
at here will be will set 25 these dimension here so change here to 25 and then click OK and uh, next here we'll create this transfer operation in this part so what you need to do, to do is to what you need to do is to select this edge and control select this edge here and select chamfer 2 and the size is 1 so click OK and now to create these parts here what you need to do is to go to model select this path and then this chamfer and select polar button tool okay and what you need to do here in these parameters is to change the number of occurrence to 14 okay and then click ok and now as you can see we have this part here the design of this model is featured thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in the next video if you find this video useful please leave a like and a comment and share this video with your friends thank you for watching this video